Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited, 737 MAX gets the okay to fly once again. Also, a Deland Sports Aviation Showcase postponed until next year. And Belgian Defense evaluates Diamond's Dart Basic Trainer. Thank you for joining us this Friday. We hope you had a great week. I'm your host, Kimberly Kay. We have an exciting episode filled with the latest news. So, let's start with the 737 MAX returns to service. The FAA boss Steve Dixon has signed an order that paves the way for the Boeing 737 MAX to return to commercial service. For nearly two years, FAA employees worked to identify and address reportedly safety issues that were blamed for the loss of 346 lives aboard Lion Flight 610 and Ethiopian Airlines Flight 302. Throughout the process, they cooperated closely with foreign counterparts, while Dixon took the recommended pilot training and piloted the Boeing 737 MAX himself. In addition to resigning the order that grounded the aircraft, the FAA has published an AD specifying design changes that must be made before the aircraft returns to service, issued a continued airworthiness notification to the international community, and published new MAX training requirements. These actions do not allow the MAX to return immediately to the skies. The FAA must approve 737 MAX pilot training program revisions for each U.S. airline operating the MAX and will retain its authority to issue airworthiness certificates and export certificates of airworthiness for all new 737 MAX aircraft manufactured since the FAA issued the grounding order. Furthermore, airlines that have parked their MAX aircraft must take required steps to prep them for flight. Coming up, there's good news for the sport aviation community. I'll have those details after the break. To celebrate the holiday season, you'll receive 20% off any King Schools course from right now through December 4th. It's our last sale of the year. To get 20% off any King Schools course, go to kingschools.com and choose your courses. You can order online or call one of our customer service pilots at our 800 number and use the code STUFFING. It's that easy. There's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We are Hartzell Propeller. I believe that if people use the Landing Doctor Training Program, they will have less accidents and eventually their insurance will go down and they will make a superior pilot. We do personal limitation checklists, which is the most important reason you need to fly with limits. We do ground proximity awareness training and we do this with a crosswind. We've been operating six Prestels for two years without one insurance claim. The Landing Doctor Program is working and you're gonna hear more about it. With so much news coming out of the aviation industry, we're gonna be summarizing some other interesting stories in our brief segment we call Around the Patch. So let's start with, here's good news and some bad news. Gamma third quarter stats reported. Gamma has released its report of GA aircraft shipments and billings through the third quarter of 2020. Piston airplane deliveries increased slightly while turboprop business jet and helicopter deliveries declined through the first nine months of 2020 over 2019. Airplane shipments through the first nine months of 2020 when compared to the same period of 2019 saw Piston airline deliveries increased 1.4% with 889 units. Turboprop airplane deliveries declined 27% with 254 units. And business jet deliveries declined 26.7% with 378 units. Experimental amateur built fatal accident total drops again. There's good news for the sport aviation community. Things are safer out there than expected and seem to be trending that way for the future. Safety totals for the experimental amateur built aircraft continued the decade long improvement trend in 2020 over 12 month period from October 1st, 2019 through September 30th, 2020, which mirrors the federal government fiscal year. Total fatal accidents in experimental aircraft dropped more than 15% from the previous year to 44 total fatal accidents, including 32 in amateur built aircraft, an 18% drop. Intercontinental Jet Service awarded ME2 STC for scimitar heart cell props. Intercontinental Jet Service Corporation in Tulsa has obtained for STC for heart cell propellers 
Scimitar 4 blade aluminum prop installations on MU2 twin engine aircraft. Models covered include more than 260 MU2B, 26A, 40, 36A, and 60 aircraft built by Mitsubishi. The STC by IJSC, a hard cell propeller recommended service facility, replaces the previous steel hub prop installations with lighter weight aluminum hubs and blades. The new installation saves 17 pounds per engine and delivers better performance. Virgin Galactic blames COVID for another scheduled setback. Virgin Galactic has announced in accordance with new guidelines from the New Mexico Department of Health to disrupt the spread of COVID-19 virus in the state that it will be minimizing its operational footprint at its New Mexico facilities. This will set back the long-awaited flight schedule again. In consultation with government officials and as a result of these new operation restrictions, the space flight that was planned to occur between November 19th and 23rd of this year will be rescheduled. Well, that does it for today's trip around the patch. Now let's return to the rest of the news. Deland Sports Aviation Showcase makes a tough call, postponed until November of next year. It's been heartbreaking, notes Deland Sports Aviation Showcase boss, Jaina Phillip. We gave it every chance to happen, but conditions simply will not allow the proper measure of safety at this time or in the near future. It was to be the fifth iteration of an annual sports aviation fly-in and trade show that was not only growing, but it has established itself as a major regional aviation gathering place. Phillip and the city of Deland were looking forward to their hard-fought attempt to move the normal November show date to January. But with Florida, COVID-19 numbers are on the rise. Limitations on national travel and severe limitations on international travel as well as potential sponsor companies with their own travel bans. The DSAS effort was simply too improbable to take the chance on. So the next postponed showcase will be scheduled for November 2021. To keep Central Florida residents aware of Deland's airport extensive capabilities and attractions, they intend to hold a one-day fly-in on January 30th of next year. This fly-in drive event is co-sponsored by Tesla, who invites Central Florida residents to fly or drive to Deland Airport and test drive a Tesla. With Deland's EAA Chapter 635 will offer their monthly pancake breakfast with outside seating. After these messages, Belgian Defense evaluates Diamond's Dart Basic Trainer. BLT is just another tick on your pre-flight checklist, until you need it. Did you ever wonder what would happen if you had an engine failure over the mountains, marshland, or other dangerous terrain? Take to the skies confidently with the most reliable and highest performing ELTs and safety products on board that instantly mobilize life-saving search and rescue across the world. Read survivor stories from aviators and adventurers who survived life-threatening encounters thanks to ACR and Artec's life-saving technology. Luck favors the prepared at SurvivorClub.com. Hi, my name is Rick Volker. I flew my 600 horsepower North American Harvard in several air shows in North America using Swift UL-94. I placed Swift UL-94 in one wing tank, 100 low lead in the other wing tank. There was no measurable or perceivable difference in any performance parameter when switching between the two fuels. As a bonus, Swift UL-94 prevented any plug fouling. I highly recommend this fuel to keep your aircraft clean and performing well. Skyleader Aircraft offers a lineup of the most powerful, durable, and efficient light sport aircraft in the industry. From trainers to roomy cockpits for long hauls, Skyleader has an aircraft for you. And the best part? They're in your budget. Skyleader's base prices are set low to give you room to customize your aircraft to your needs, desires, and wallet, allowing you to put your money where it matters to you most. Visit FlySkyLeader.com today to learn about our aircraft, customization options, and chat with the team. Welcome back. Belgian Defense evaluates Diamond's Dart Basic Trainer. In the course of Belgium's defense military prospection phase of basic flight training capability, a delegation of three of the Belgian Air Force and Directorate of Material Resources visited Diamond's headquarters in Wiener Neustadt, Austria. The purpose of the visit was to undertake a first impression of DART aircraft, not only in flight, but as well as to explore the possibilities of the ground-based training system and the support package that comes with the aircraft. Cardinal Aviator Patrick Goose Goosens, Head of Work Group Future Pilot Training and New Basic Training Aircraft, and former Head of Training of the Belgian Air Force, 
participated in a flight on the dart together with a diamond test pilot. After Goose got off the aircraft, he was positively surprised at how stable and how easy to handle the aircraft is. During the debriefing, the delegation pointed out that the DART 550 training system is certainly a candidate for the replacement of the existing fleet of Marchetti SF-260s. As well known in the commercial flight training market, Diamond now offers a turnkey training system as a one-stop shop to military training organizations or service providers. Well, that does it for our show today. Thank you for joining us. I'm your host, Kimberly Kay. Don't forget to subscribe to us on YouTube and check us out on Facebook, Instagram, and on Twitter. Remember that Airborne is currently operating on our winter schedule, which means we are streamed Monday and Friday. You can also catch us on Roku and Fire TV. Just search for Aero News or Airborne in the directory. We hope you enjoy the show. We'll see you next time.